hello welcome to this new video so in this video we are going to have a look at a set of models that are called as tapas models so these models are specifically designed for a table question and answering and has been trained accordingly so let us have a look at it so what is tapas model so tapas model is nothing but a bert like transformer model that has pre-trained on a large set of english data and that is mainly from uh, wikipedia and it has been trained in a self supervised fashion so the training was done with two objectives in mind so one was uh, mass language modeling so what uh, in this process what the training would be like is that the entire table uh, would be uh, flattened and then we randomly mask 15% of the data then we ask the model to predict those uh, masked data so this helps the model learn in a bidirectional representation of what uh, the tables looks like and how the table re relationships are next we have an uh, intermediate pre training process where we train the model on uh, its numeric reasoning abilities based on the tables and also we uh, train the models on uh, to classify a certain sentence whether it is true or false based on the table so uh, again for the second part the training examples are mainly created using synthetic data set and using uh, counterfactual statements now after uh, the model learns the inner representation that is being used in the tables this can be fine tuned to two uh, downstream task one is question and answering from table next is answering whether a sentence is true Uh, or if sentence is correct or wrong based on the contents of a table so the again the fine tuning is done on different set of uh, data uh, data sets so one data set is sqa another is wiki sql the uh, another one is a wtq uh, data set so uh, the tapas model comes mainly in uh, this variety based on the parameter size the following versions are tiny mini small uh, medium base and large and based on the fine tuned version we have sqa wiki sql and wtq uh, models and one thing to notice that the tapas model uh, use a relative position embedding uh, so in this position embedding what they do is that they reset the position uh, index at every cell of the table so as to allow the model to learn the relationship within that cell next so what are the intended use case and the limitations so the suitable use case uh, that is mostly being used for is for answering questions based on tables so what are the limitations so one of the main limitations of this particular model is that uh, we cannot input a very large uh, table uh, as input to this data set because as you might have remembered from the first slide we are actually flattening the table and giving it as input so it has a fixed uh, input length and within that length if the table fits then the model will be able to correctly answer that otherwise it is uh, the model will struggle to answer anything that does not fit within the input window of the model now uh, where can we find this model so when we go to the hugging face site and go to the models then click on table question and answering you can see the list of uh, models that are uh, designed uh, for table question and answer and the google uh, currently has released the tapas model uh, in around 2022 and it has been there since around so it has been again fine tuned on different set of uh, data sets by different uh, for different purposes and we can see the different versions also small medium mini so you can use any one of this model for your purpose so let us uh, in for our case take the base model so this is the model card that has been prepared for the base model and here you can find accuracy in which the model was able to answer based on the fine tuned data set so you can find much more details about uh, and the reference paper it is uh, in which it has been like uh, completely discussed over here now let us see an example on how we can uh, build an app around this model so uh, this is the simple very sales report analysis uh, app where we are we can upload any particular data set 
so i uploaded a small e-commerce sales report uh, which contains order id customer id product category product id quantity price order date and the store id as well as the sales amount so from this particular table so it contains around 100 rows uh, for our particular use case so uh, we are going to give this uh, excel as an input to the particular model and ask certain questions from it so uh, let us say if i want to uh, calculate uh, let me just yeah let us say i just want to calculate the average sales in the month february so when i type this and just click predict answer so it will uh, first process the data then it will start uh, looking for the answer and it will uh, provide us with the answer yeah so so the average uh, sales for the month in february will be 1363.34 dollars uh, now let us say if i want to uh, find the total sales So uh, when we try to get the total sales, it is able to calculate the total sales to be around uh, $109,066. So this is how the entire table question and answering model works. So if you want any further uh, proof of concept or do you uh, want any further information regarding it, feel free to contact us in our uh, uh, social links which have been mentioned in the description.